Why should managers of innovative teams learn about jazz? It is because there's a great resemblance between small groups of innovative teams and groups of jazz players. In both groups, we'd find creative experts who have different ways of thinking, defined by their expertise. Now they're expected to collaborate despite their differences and play something new. And here's the challenge. Innovative teams deserve innovative leaders. How do you become one? How should you lead an innovative team? It is our tendency to surround ourselves and to hire people with whom we share the same visions. It's easier, but not innovative. Successful jazz leaders from Duke Ellington to Miles Davis knew that innovation and creativity were not only about themselves. They have featured dominant team members who held unorthodox visions, sometimes opposing their own. Not easy, but that was the key for their innovative breakthroughs. Jazz offers plenty of inspiration. I'll be glad to share some more.